Hey guys, I'm back. I'm here to do a fall fashion haul. It's gonna be a try on haul. You guys know that fall is my ultimate favorite time of year. If you guys follow me on social media, you'll have seen a few pictures of me. I was in Las Vegas this past weekend, Beyonce for his work for the iHeart Music Festival. And you know, in Vegas, you wanna look a little extra cute. And since Having had my surgery, if you guys don't know, I had emergency surgery. I will link that somewhere up here so you guys can watch that video if you don't know. I haven't really been able to wear certain things. I haven't felt good about myself. I haven't been able to wear anything fitted on my abdomen because of my incisions. And as well as just anything pressing on that area has just been extremely uncomfortable. So my time in Vegas was kind of my first time in wearing anything, like I said, that made me feel good about myself. So the first thing I want to share with you guys that I got, and yes, it was sent to me. You guys have probably heard about the up bra. They offered to send it to me and I was like, you know what? Let's give it a shot. Cause you guys know if I'm going to try it and I use it and I like it, I'm going to share it with you guys. So the fact that I'm sharing it means girl liked it. I have it on right now. I wore it all throughout Vegas. Hey girls is <laughs> the theme of the weekend. You want to talk cleavage. Okay, we're all girls here, so oh my goodness. Like, I, 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 I can't even. Oh my god. Yeah. Cleavage. It's the up bra. They even have swimsuit tops, convertible bras. You can wear them in so many different ways. They sent me the Stay Up White, and I have on the 32 Double D. And these straps come off, and like I said, they're completely convertible. Um, but the straps come to about right there, which I really like how low the strap comes. So in case you do wear something where you want it to be, you know, it's kind of just because some bras on me for my cup size come way up here. So the fact that it comes down further like that, if you want to kind of wear something where you want to be a little bit more showy, it doesn't show that area. Talk about lift and cleavage. They really do mean the up bra. <laughs> Girls, I'll insert some pictures here of me wearing it this weekend with other tops. Like, I was feeling myself. Not only lifts and enhances cleavage, but also stays up and remains, giving you cleavage throughout the day. This is because of the extra stability provided by the cleavage lifting action. In addition, women have found that the up bra cups feel very natural, not stiff like heavily padded bras. That means that whether you are wearing a formal dress a low cut blouse or top, your up bra will give you the lift, cleavage, and security you want. It doesn't, a lot of my bras, because of my size, will start to slip, or if I bend over, I fall out. And, and as you can see right here, that's where you adjust it to make um, the fitting tighter and your bra to be more lifted, to give you more cleavage. Like I said, sorry for the bronzer and the tanner, but I mean, had I done this before I wore it, you guys wouldn't get a true my true feelings on the bra. So of course I'm gonna wear it first and then tell you guys how I like it. So, you know, I got some bronzer and tanner on it. You can see the molded cups. And this in here, I'm telling you, that's what keeps that up on your chest. Anything that I get that's that lifts me or pushes in the cleavage, if I bend over, I spill out of them. I don't with this. This literally stays in place. Like I said, we're all girls here. Like I feel like I'm hanging out with my girlfriends talking about it. It's a bra. You know what I mean? So thank you so much up bra for sending that to me. Like I said, I am in a 32 triple D. They have so many sizes, the cleavage control snaps, the locking system. They have a multitude of sizes as well. I will put their link down below. I hit up the Marshalls and that's what I got this really cute top. It's by Caution to the Wind. I got a size small. It's just this really super duper soft sweater like material and the arms are so adorable. So freaking cute. They have the little ruffled arms and then it has this tie up in the front and it's a little bit of a high low. Next I got this one also at Marshalls. I got a size small. This is by Trasix. And again, gray, I just love gray. It also can be on like this, or you guys know me, I'll probably wear it off the shoulder. And anything off the shoulder or one shouldered, shoulders exposed is actually very in and trend, in trend for fall and all. These are the sleeves, you have the big kind of blousey sleeve, but it only goes from elbow down. The skirt, I got this when I was in Las Vegas at a store called Hotties, 
hotties, something like that. It's every time I go to Vegas, if I'm looking for club wear or going out to an event kind of thing, I always hit up that store. They have really cute kind of trendy, sexy things. My fiance and I were invited to the iHeart Music Festival VIP after party. I was in Vegas for his work for that, his birthday, and then my best friend got married. And it was just so awesome that I could be there for her and stand up with her. And it was just awesome. I forgot that we were going to be going to this VIP after party at one of their nightclubs there. And I'm like, I have nothing to wear. <laughs> like a VIP party. So I went to Hotties. So long-winded. That's what, when you'll see the picture of me rocking my up bra, there you go, girl. But this is the skirt that I got at Hotties. It's by Dance and Marvel. And it's... Kind of hard to explain it goes to here there's an inner skirt and then there's an overhang <laughs> if that makes any sense you'll see the picture here but it's a long skirt just on the one end then i went by charlotte russe up in a size small and again just kind of ties up in a knot like that in front i love tops like this because it's long sleeve but it's still thin and here in la what is it? it's 98 degrees here today and we're almost in October. Seriously loving the weather in Vegas because it was cooler in Vegas than it was here in LA. Like that's just insane. So anyhow, but when I buy for fall, I still buy stuff that's kind of like thinner fabric, things that I can layer and so on. TJ Maxx, I picked up this top. It's also in a size small. It's just that really pretty um, Bordeaux, Oxblood, maroon, whatever you want to call it. It goes high up the neck and then it has the cold shoulders. This one is a thicker material. It's definitely more of a sweater-like kind of feel. So soft. Also at TJ Maxx, I picked up this top. And this one is by Rebel Sugar. This is also in a small, kind of the same thing. It's a little darker though. More of a deep plum maybe. Um, goes here to the neck, on the neck. And then also cold shoulder, long sleeve. But this is definitely a thinner material. I'm all over the place from like store to store to store because I just have a pile here that I'm grabbing from. This one I also got at TJ Maxx. I don't know who this is by. Who is this by? Ace, Ace Me? Ace Me? Ace Me? Something like that? I don't know. <laughs> Anyhow, it goes up like that and it has a v-neck down the front and also cold shoulders. You guys know I love camo. I've been rocking camo forever. These I have worn already. I have been living in these. I had to share them with you guys. They're by 32 degree heat. And my mom and sister got them for me at Costco. I look online to see where else they're sold because these are the most comfortable joggers like of life. And after I had my surgery, I couldn't I couldn't really have anything that would like press on to my incision or my abdomen. I had to wear something low on my hips, but something that was still kind of cute because joggers are in. So they got me these and the print is kind of like a burnout print, whatever it is. I'll insert some pictures and you'll see me wearing that. Love these. I don't know how much they were. I think they were pretty inexpensive, but they picked these up for me at Costco. I got this top from Honey Bum. And I got this actually when I was at Beautycon. My girlfriend Nicole works with Honeybum and they gifted this to me and it is the cutest. Velvet is very in for fall and winter. And this cute, it ties up the front, lower in the back, gray velvet top. Such amazing quality. The inside is so freaking soft. The, the velvet is so soft and it's heavy. Like, not heavy to the point of being uncomfortable, but it's literally like, it is good weighted stuff. You know what I mean? Forever 21, I picked up these jeans. They are the denim pant regular Forever 21 Los Angeles. It's just what it says on the label. They are size 26 and they are just distressed um, jeans. And then they have that, they have the bottom that's the, the really in trend new frayed bottom. Also at Forever 21, I had these. I actually wore these to Beautycon and then I went and got another pair because I was so obsessed with them. You guys know, I say obsessed a lot. I'm so sorry. I got another pair because I loved them so much and they were so comfy. So these are actually Forever 21 men. So they're for men. 
Um, I got the extra small and they're just these really cute camo joggers. They have pockets. I actually get a lot of men's joggers at Forever 21. I'm not very tall, I'm only 5'7", but I find that a lot of their stuff are made for shorter girls, more petite girls. And so the inseam or length in the legs aren't so good for me. I find it easier sometimes to look at the men's at Forever 21 and they fit me in length much better. And they have the pockets. One has an over flap on the back and then this one just has a regular pocket. So don't ever hesitate if you're a taller girl, check out the men's section in a lot of stores for joggers. I up these at Charlotte Russe. I absolutely love them so much. They're a faux suede and they're a peep toe booty with the back cut out heel and they have the block thick heel which is very in trend. And again, like I said, I can wear this year round here in LA, like it doesn't matter. So comfy to walk around in. Oh my goodness, are these comfy. Those, like I said, at Charlotte Russe, they are the style Antonia. I had a deal going that was buy one pair of shoes, get the second for $12.50. I think I will. So I got another pair. The pair I got were the Luciana. What's my nail coming off? My nail literally just popped off. Literally just popped off my finger. So we'll just leave that right there. A lot of people be like, girl, those aren't fall shoes. Well, you know what? The block heel is a fall trend. And I know it's it's a gladiator style. It's a faux suede. Again, so comfy to walk around in. And I absolutely love them. They have that thicker, chunkier heel. So that's it. That is my fall fashion haul. Um, I don't have any jackets to show you guys because I haven't got anything new, nor is it cold enough right now for any kind of new jacket. Um, a lot of the trends are repeating themselves, so I kind of already have the utility jackets and things like that from previous years that I just hold on to. And that's it. Yeah, if you guys want to hoist your cleavage, check out Upbra because I can't even believe the amount of action that's going on on my chest. <laughs> I'll leave their link down below. Thank you again, Upbra, for sending this to me. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm doing much better. I am definitely doing better. Thank you. Thank you so much for your continued loving thoughts and prayers. And during my recovery and healing process, I'm still recovering. I'm still healing. I'm not really able to work out yet or do any abdominal work, but I'm, I'm doing better. So thank you guys so much. I have to still go in for the MRI for my back. And I'll keep you guys updated on how that goes and the results of that as well. That's it. I hope you guys are having a great day. Please be kind to each other always. And I will see you in another video soon. Bye.